Local 3 Sports with Jake Duran. We had a Saturday afternoon edition of our game of the week. It happened in girls hoops. Number five Munising made the trip to Ishpeming to take on the number one hematites. Prior to the game tipping off, a special ceremony was held to honor the 1973-74 Ishpeming girls basketball team. They were the first girls team at Ishpeming High School and thanks to the signing of Title IX back in 1972, they helped blaze the way for today's girls competing in athletics. We'll have more from the team tomorrow on Local 3. Well, let's get to the game. We're going to pick it up early in the first quarter. No score. It doesn't take the Hematites long to get going. Off of the opening tip, it's Janessa Eagle. She's going in for the lay-in. Ishpeming takes a quick 2-0 lead. The Hematites love their full court press, and that pressure made an impact early off the steal. Jenna Mackey going to pull up for two. For nothing, Ishpeming. Munising will then get on the board. Nice turnaround bucket here by Emmy Crisp. Going to pull the Mustangs within two. Later off another Mustangs turnover. Eagle sprinting back the other way. Check out the step through and the finish with the left hand off the left foot. Great body control there. It's 12-3 Ishpeming. Munising looking to keep pace off of the miss. Bailey Corcoran going to snag the offensive rebound and she puts it back up and in. Mustangs down seven. Off yet another Mustangs turnover. Eagle with a dime to Maya Hemmer for the bucket. Hematite's back up nine. First quarter clock winding down. Eagle with the pass out to Peyton Kakuri. She buries the three. 22-8 Ishpeming. Head coach Ryan Rico loving the effort from his team on the sideline there. Second quarter, Corcoran is able to beat the press and get all the way to the rim for, and connect with the floater. But this one was all hematites. They go on to win our game of the week with a convincing 78-32 victory over Munising. You know, I, I knew Munising had a, a longer break. They've been off for, I think, almost 10 days. So uh, some of that comes into consideration where you don't have those in-game legs. So we really wanted to maximize our fast break and our pressing. And I thought our girls early was a little was a little slower. But then once we got grooving, it was it was fun to watch the pace, you know, and see the team start to get tired. And then our girls started to, you know, kind of feel their tiredness. And so they picked it up a notch. And it, it obviously ended up working in our favor tonight.